which simulates being trapped in a helicopter that's flipped upside down underwater. Shut the fuck up, bro! Everyone who's done Dunker, this is bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, what's good, team? All right, so today we're going to do a video on the United States Secret Service. This is actually a requested video. I was actually happy to see something that wasn't exactly military. Kind of along the same lines. You got a lot of fucking law enforcement guys, military guys that go into the Secret Service. So this one's going to be interesting. I have a few buddies who are in the Secret Service, and then I've worked with some dudes uh, in the civilian sector that are prior Secret Service. Some of y'all are awesome. Some of you are fucking cocks. Don't know how you made it, but cool. Um, do you? Here's a question. Do you guys think Secret Service boot camp is going to be harder, or do you guys think military boot camp's harder? Let me know in the comments before you watch the fucking video. By the way, if you like the video, like the video. If you don't like it, dislike the video. I don't care. Y'all got to let me know if you like this shit or not, or the types of videos you like. And subscribe. Um... Yeah, I think some of you guys are going to learn some new stuff about the Secret Service, too. Uh, a lot of people think, like, oh, guards the fucking president, bro. Fucking hell yeah, POTUS shit. No, that is a super small part of what the Secret Service does. They're a very large, you know, law enforcement entity, which a lot of people don't know. They have a lot of protection details, and they're highly involved with the Treasury. Um, they used to do a lot of, like, counterfeit stuff back in the day. And then they kind of evolved more and more and more. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and send it. Oh, and as per usual, I'm coming for your life. Oh, I want you to take all the notions that you have about what we do in the Secret Service that you've seen on the movies. And on oh, that's it right there, dude. That's what people think the Secret Service is right there. They think it's the motherfucker on the president's car that's just like... And has like a fucking like submachine gun tucked inside of the coat, bro. TV shows, and I want you to throw it out the window. The Secret Service is the premier law enforcement agency in the world. It is by far... Like I said, I don't, I don't think a lot of people understand that it's a huge law enforcement entity. Everyone's like, no, they, they guard the president. Yeah, they work at the White House. Yeah, they cover the president's... De they cover the POTUS detail, but... That's such a small fucking part of it, bro. They do a lot of shit. They do a lot of shit. The best protective agency that's ever been. Secret Service has I don't know about the best protective agency that's ever lived, but you know, I'll let y'all decide what you think, uh, but yeah. A zero fail mission. That is Hold now us. your responsibility. Man. That is now hey, the way co coming from the security industry, bro, fucking guarding President Donald Trump during all of this. I know y'all like I know there's a lot going on there. I'm not gonna jump into politics, but hey, guarding him at events. And trying to fucking stay vigilant, bro, while everyone's like, fuck you! It's like, holy shit, bro. They're, they're just like, dude, I'd, I, you lose like 10 years of your life after fucking 30 minutes of like watching a, a fucking crowd, bro. Jesus. The, the amount of stress, you're like, if anything happens, I'm going to lose my fucking job. On your shoulders. Now you have to earn it every single day. Oh. Oh. Look at them fits. Military uniforms look better, just saying. This <laughs> is Secret oh, Service Boot Camp. <laughs> hey, they do got that shit, though, in training. Y'all got that shit, though. Because technically it's higher tier. Yeah, I get it. Y'all got better equipment and stuff. But, bro, you want to know one thing that kills me? And I know we're actually... Actually, I'm not even going to get there yet. We're going to fucking keep saying Or they join the Secret I know they're gonna Service. Show. First of all, take into account the motherfuckers that are in this recruiting process right here, right now. I'm pointing at the wrong fucking shit but look at these people notice anything how they're kind of super fucking young some would say out of shape all recruits have to graduate from the agency's six month oh training God, program they're... Man, I'm a kid training too, happens whatever. here <laughs> at the james j rowley training center in laurel maryland located about 20 miles north of washington welcome to the james j rowley oh. United oh, States Secret Service Training soaps. Center. On day one, a new class of recruit. Oh, look at them, bro. He's hyped. That dude on the right side is like, yeah, dude, I'm going to guard the president, bro. I'm going to save his life, bro. I'm going to be the best. They're going to make movies about me. Shut your ass up. Roots arrives at the Bitch. academy. Have a seat. Every one of you sitting here right now, there was about 100 other applicants that tried to get the seat that you have earned. How did you earn that seat? You earned that seat. You were the best of the best of the best.
Cot Movie. By getting through our very, very difficult and in-depth vetting process. And you should be Okay, let's talk about the vetting process right here. By the way, I'm gonna leave for all of you military personnel. If you don't have a fucking idea of what you're doing when you get out, I'm gonna drop the link to the careers path for the Secret Service. So go check it out. Please. Don't just fucking wait till you get out to figure out what you want to do. Have a fucking plan, okay? So, like, requirements for the Secret Service, um, like I said, uh, worked, you know, there was a point, small point in my life where I worked fairly close with them, and then I worked with them, obviously, in the civilian sector. Uh, yeah. And, and there's, like, like I said, there's um, uniformed police, ununiformed police, uh, there's special agents, and then there's some other components in there. Um... But no matter what, bro, the pay is not the hottest of shit. You're going in on like a GS7 with the possibility of a GS13. When I talked about the younger guys, bro, some of these people are fucking... Bro! Bro! Okay, listen. They'll take like fucking dudes straight out of college. Because you need to have a fucking degree to go into the Secret Service. Or you need to have experience. So military definitely has the option, bro. But some of the fucking people that I've seen working here... Oh my god, like I said, some of them are fucking turds! You know what I'm talking about. Like some young fucking dudes who be going into this shit. And I think it's a great career field, so... Check out the fucking link in the bio, okay? Or, sorry. Check out the link in the description, okay? Congratulate. And I hope you celebrate it. Because the celebration time is over. Now's the time for business. Do y'all think this dude was in the military? Or law enforcement? I.e. is 100% law enforcement. Look at how chill he is, bro. He's like, yo, the, the party ends over. Now, it's time to work. Everybody clear on that? On Saturday, you will depart. Before scared. they begin their Secret Service specific training, these recruits will spend three months at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Artesia, New Flexi. Mexico. Flexi! Get back in the building now! Before returning to Maryland for three more months of focused training. That includes driving. Hey, J turns, baby. Marksmanship. Let me know. Hey. Let me know if y'all want me to do a J-turn in, uh, in some of my future videos for, for the fuck of it. That'd be actually kind of funny and fun. Hand-to-hand -hand combat and realistic oh threat scenarios. I can't wait to see this You're going to hear a phrase combat, over bro. and over and over again throughout your training, in particular this week. The Secret Service has a zero-fail mission. What that means in layman's terms, ladies and gentlemen, is this. You don't get a bad day in the Secret Service. There's plenty of other... That's a lie. I know dudes there that fucking hate their lives and wish they never did it and were just regular police officers. But yeah, moving on. Pursuits out there, noble pursuits, lawyers, plumbers, firemen, doctors. If one of those folks has a rough night the night before, stays out late, they have to deal with their boss, some kind of disciplinary action. If you have a bad day and you don't do your job, you're going to change the world. Why Is there so anyone nervous, that man. doesn't want to proceed at this point? I dare someone to raise their hand. All right, then let's get down. Who the fuck would raise their hand after that, bro? Like, the shit they've already been through just to get into that room has been a pain in the ass. It's probably been uh, six to months to a year in the works, bro. Can you imagine someone's just like, after reading the speech, just like, hey, uh, I don't think this is for me. Holy shit, bro. What a piece of shit you would have to be. Ruin the opportunity for people who want to be there and get after it. I'm scared. Down to business. Oh, oh that. We spent oh. three days at the training center ooh, where we observed ooh, recruits ooh. at various Oh my god, they look training. like shit, bro. It's going bro. to be a long week. It's going to be a- For the Yo, new he class, says, their nah! first week focuses on a physical evaluation. Uh, this one's gonna be shit. And getting rid of any bad habits they may have brought into the academy. We left yesterday without you. Hey, that's one thing, bro. If you're in the military, you'll know what I'm talking about. You guys are going to bring a lot of fucking bad habits into the Secret Service, bro. It happens all the time. It happens all the time, especially people who do, like, cross-training between branches and stuff like that. So I get it while they'll bring in, like, college kids sometimes with, like, no, like, experience. Don't get me wrong. You don't need to have, like, fucking combat experience to go do this shit. But, like, half of the dudes already have clearances. So, and that's part of the job. But I'm sure they're going to mention that, and then I'll dive into that later on. And dude, why is it so chill? It's so relaxed, bro. There's no fucking like, ah, 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 like stress, bro. Do something. Chairs being pushed in, and now we can't pay attention to detail. Fuck them up. One minute after the details given out, and we're laughing and joking in here. It is going to be an extremely long week. Do not make plans for Friday getting out of here on time, because that ain't happening. Oh. What the fuck was that, bro? He didn't even do anything. He just said. He, dude, it was like, it's like my Air Force character, bro. 
It was like so chill. He's like, you guys better not plan on getting out of here early. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna write reports, okay? That's some little bitch shit, dude. All right, let's Although keep Although we going. were allowed to film inside the academy, our access was limited, and we were only able access. to film certain aspects of training, mm. the rest of which remained secret. Oh, there are certain things that we will not be able to show uh, yourself or any other members of the media here, and that's really for the safety of our protection. All right, uniform so, division. Secret service drives against counterfeits. Okay, so that's talking about like, you know, they, they like I said, they were big with the treasury. They still do work with it. They still do counterfeit stuff. Um, yeah, so like money laundering and shit like that. If some of y'all are in the secret service here, correct me in the comments, okay? If I'm saying wrong shit. I'm pretty sure everything I'm saying is accurate. I'm not going to branch outside of shit I don't know and talk out of my ass. Um, but it may trip over some of my knowledge or it, it may have been incorrect or the people that I know are just talking out of their ass and trying to seem cool. I don't know. The United States Secret Service, America's first line of defense oh against the God. counterfeiter and the crank. The Secret Service was founded in 1865. 1865. Its primary mission to combat the counterfeiting of U.S. currency. Army was here the first. June 14, 1775. Duty is protecting the President of the United States and his family. <laughs> the Secret Service began its protective mission. Bro, that, is that dude getting the poke poke 9000 in his stomach right now? After the 1901 <laughs> assassination of President William. Oh, he get the he get the shoddy blot dotty to the wound in the breast abdomen. Patati, uh, yeah. McKinley. I have the president's personal bodyguard. I go where he goes. I want to say that anybody oh, who has no business with him. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to say. I said the president's bodyguard. That anybody. Okay. To all my executive protection agents out there, I know y'all are freaking out, let alone I know people on actual details. Bodyguards are just big dudes who think with their fists, okay? Executive protection agents are the people who do shit with their brains, big brain shit, and avoid the situation. So, guys, if you ever come across somebody who does professional security work, okay, do not call them a bodyguard. It is, it is super offensive, bro. It is super offensive. Trust me, you want an EP guy on your side instead of a bodyguard. It's funny because sometimes it's a smaller dude who's the executive protection agent who is going to ball up the bodyguard every time, who's like the seven-foot guy. One, because they actually have the knowledge of tactics and know what the fuck to do and can fight, but also stay strapped. But yeah. Who has no don't call him a bodyguard. Him. That's what I'm saying. Go. And believe me, I don't mean maybe. Elaine protective mission the president has remained a target since 1901 oh, president kennedy has been oh, the no. sole president to die at the hands of an assassin despite numerous attempts by others like in 1994 Oh my god, dude, this shit's and this is opened. this is crazy to me because if you know, you know. But the amount of surveillance efforts going on around the White House is so fucking crazy. You have no idea. You have no idea of the collection efforts going on in that area. It's crazy. So Fire when I saw shit White like House. this, I was like, holy fuck. President Clinton watched a But then again, this was over 20 years ago, football so football game inside. Due to the weight of our protective mission, we have to make sure that... See, I'm pretty sure that was a... Uh, like, they had the uniform guards, but I'm pretty sure that was probably like a covert guy holding the ankle. I could be wrong. Someone correct me. Anyone in those positions is uh, truly worthy of trust and confidence, which is our, our motto here. We're getting ready to go into another campaign year, so we have to uh, build up our, our workforce in order to help support that. The base salary for new agents and officers starts as low as $47,000 a year. Potential recruit... <laughs> 47 that's why i didn't go that route this is uh this is one of the options i thought about when i was getting off of active duty i thought i wanted to go into the secret service a lot of things i wanted to do i want to go be a police officer i want to join the secret service i want to go into the fbi i want to do a handful of things um but like the money is not where you think it is like and it's not about chasing the money it's about you know pride and like whatever you're doing your job right but like Holy fuck, that 47 is not it, bro. Once again, I'm going to put this link to the recruiting website 
uh, or the careers in the, the description. So please check that out. Anybody. You don't have to be military. You could be fucking in college right now, bro. Go check that shit out. Roots apply on the Secret Service website, but most applicants are eliminated during an intense vetting process. Generally, it takes quite so a long intense. time in order to get through our, our screening process. Yeah, it does. Very in-depth background checks, in depth. Uh, qualification to obtain a top yeah. secret clearance and maintain one to All undergo right. a yeah, that was polygraph pop up. exam. Okay, polygraph, and before that, he said uh, secret clearance. So, military people, fucking please apply because you're fucking... You got that extra 25% above you. They're literally hire you just for a fucking security clearance. It is so difficult to get one. So if you're in the military, you're so far fucking ahead. I know some companies that will hire you if you have a, a TS. So for those of you who don't know, that's a top secret. Or if you have a TSSCI, they'll hire you if you don't know fucking anything, but you have the clearance. Because that clearance, it's a $100,000 cert. It costs so much money to get that, including all the vetting and background and all that shit too. So if you already have that, if you're part of the intel community like I am now, you know, if you're a counterintelligence agent, you're a fucking, you're a fox, you know, any of that shit, check this shit out, okay? Because it, it, it's going to help you out a lot. So don't waste the skills the military gave you. And if y'all want to me to diverge into stuff like that, diverge, what the fuck am I saying? Dive into the, you know, the world of an, the intel world, you know, talking about top secret stuff, obviously stuff that's not classified, but that realm of shit. Let me know if that interests you. Drop it down in the comments. Should successfully pass that. They have a lot to be proud of just for the fact that they're sitting here. Etiquette. Stay right there. Oh. <laughs> Look at how slow my guy is on the draw. This kid's probably in college, so sorry, kid. I'm giving you shit. Oh, let's see. Let's see. She's chilling. She's chilling. Stay right there. Oh, boop, 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 dude, I would, dun, 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 dun. done, dude, and hey, it's not all about violence, okay, it's not, that's not what it's about, but you gotta understand the full-on situation here, I probably shouldn't even be diving into this, but I don't know who else is in the fucking, and I'm just going off of what I'm seeing right here, you know, we're just fucking around here, don't get upset, okay, I don't know who the fuck else is in that car. I don't know if this is diversion and someone else is going to jump out and fucking blap my shit. Okay. It's a threat against my life. I'm going home at the end of the day, baby. Now, you know, oh, she's just a, a woman. I'm like, hey, fucking, I know women down range who have done this same shit. And then the second they touch you, click, clack, bang, bang. Done, dude. Done. Kids, same shit, bro. At the end of the day, people, violence can happen anywhere. And I hope you understand that. One thing to understand, guys, this is not a video game. In this exercise, 100%. recruits interact with a video screen that plays a scenario involving oh, a shit. potential threat to a protectee. Search up! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Are you guys engaging or not? I'm engaging right now. You're way too close, buddy. Uh, was I mean, you know, we're just fucking around. I can't really see what's going on right here. This is a training scenario. It looks like he has like a broken glass bottle in his hand. You're charging me with a broken glass bottle, bro? I've given you shit from like, you're already halfway down the stairs and you're still charging me? Tending to do me harm. And you have a deadly fucking weapon. Use your taser. <laughs> bro, I can fight a taser. If you want me to do a video of me fighting a taser, that's fucking, I'll, I'll fucking do it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be able to fight it forever, but, like, at a close distance like that, bro, I'll poke your shit. And he shot him. And All are right. judged on how quickly they're able to assess and respond to the threat. So and, and once again, it's not all about violence, okay? I'm all for, you know, like I said, think with your head. You want to completely avoid these fucking situations. These are just uniformed police officers. I don't think these are special agents. Uh, for the Secret Service. But, you know, you you want to avoid this shit. You don't want violence. Hey, but you better be ready when that shit comes. Oh, there's the gun I knew I was going to find. What can I do with this? Recruits also engage with role Put it players in your butt. to create realistic law enforcement scenarios. Oh, he's got that <laughs> strap in the back. I'll check it over here. I'll Shit! <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to go sit over here. He's like, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Can you guys imagine being a motorcycle cop? I could never do that. I could never do that, bro. Vehicles plays a big Hot. part in training in what the academy calls protective transportation. Protective transportation. Recruits train behind the wheel of high-speed Dodge Challengers and Chevy Suburbans. The Secret Service's mission. Hey, if you can do a J-turn in a fucking Suburban, 
bars. To get that protected safely from point wobbly, A to dude. point B. The training that we provide enhances that mission, that foundational driving that they are well, going to be effective secret service. Well, Alright, everybody ready? Recruits also whoa, experience whoa, whoa. a rollover Yo. simulator to prepare them for what it's like inside a vehicle that's flipped over. Next four up. Oh my god, that is so not it, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? All everyone in the military right now is freaking out. You do rollover training? Bro, oh my god, they have like wrenches, hammers, fucking undone fire hydrants in there. So when it starts to roll over, not only is your like body arm and everything like crushing you, and you're like rrr, rrr, like up against the, the ceiling, but you got like shit like fucking hitting you in the face and everything, bro. That shit sucks, dude. I know one dude who busted his eye open or like his uh, eyebrow open um from a fire hydrant because it fucking hit him, bro. That thing was heavy as hell. The There's no way you don't come out of this shit like that, bro. You come out, you're like sweating, you're like <sighs> I'm upside down to experience it. I'm a, yeah, it's not inside. fun like that. It is not fun. Empty fucking water bottles! So oh my god, dude. <laughs> Recruits spend hours on the Hey, this ain't it. Y'all not doing it right yet, Secret Service. Bro, put some like hot shit in here. Come on now. Firing range. Okay, hot shit. Hot shit now. Bet, 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 bet. They cross paths with active agents who've come back to the academy for in service training. In service training. What is. Oh, yo! Oh, I'm not tracking any of this. This looks good. This looks good. Water okay. Water based scenarios. Including being challenged to escape from this apparatus. What is that? Which simulates being trapped in a helicopter that's flipped upside down underwater. Shut the fuck up, bro! Everyone who's done Dunker, this is bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? That does not simulate anything like a helicopter crash. Here's a Dunker clip. Go! It's a fucking simulated helicopter crash. Don't get me wrong. Dunker is fucking scary, and I'm sure it's dumbass expensive, so they don't want to do that here for these people who are, like, you know, new and might not even make it through the recruiting process, so I should probably not freak out, but the fact that they say that is just, it's super funny to me. Drop something in the comments about a Dunker story. If you got stuck, uh, comment if you've ever done Dunker during blackout or uh you know with bandanas or goggles or anything like that let me know cuz i've heard some serious horror stories i've only done dunker twice done ranting sorry and we're jumping to combatives oh my god recruits learn control tactics all right control tactics here you go they're going to be like here's the bad guy jake paul walks in the room i bet you jake paul would actually beat the fuck out of all these people in here used to detain and subdue an assailant. If you're subdaining, subdaining, what the fuck am I saying again? Subduing a violent person meaning to do you harm, you're going to get fucked up if you're subduing them. Because uh, you're trying to be all nice and they're trying to beat the shit out of you. Oh, they said boop, 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 boop. male and female recruits train together throughout basic training. Oh my God, this shit's soft, yeah, approximately dude. Stop it. Bad guy. Yeah, yeet. That's uh, my representation of how I just saw their combatives. But uh, yeah, whatever. Moving on. Less than 25% are female. I'm going to come around and check uh, your shield one more time. Okay, so I'm assuming they're going to do the gas chamber here or like fucking some shit like that. How do y'all think they're going to do? Do you think they're going to do better than the military people going through the gas chamber or worse? I think they're going to do worse. Huh. 
Oof, it's burning my eyes. We couldn't Oof. bring our camera inside Oof. the gas chamber. My eyes! We did eyes. convince an officer to shoot inside with an iPhone, showing us what it's like for recruits when they're exposed to the gas. Dude, what kind of sorry-ass training facility is this, bro? This looks like some sh bullshit. A little wooden shed, bro, that you buy at Home Depot. Oh, he's... <laughs> oh, he's sucking. We weren't allowed That's to it, interview bro. They're really not recruits during diving training into this. or to film at graduation. Once the training is complete, these future agents and officers begin their zero-fail mission against the backdrop of an intense election zero year fail in a mission. nation divided Got by it. politics. We protect the office of the president. We're not political appointees. It doesn't matter to us who the people elect. Oh, We're going to protect those individuals with the same zeal. Okay, talking about fucking protection, bro. You know who's really going to protect the president when shit goes wrong? It's the fucking Secret Service cat team, bro. For those of you who don't know, that's the counter assault team. Those are the motherfuckers who are going to jump out of nowhere. They are going to have neck tats all the way up to here. They're going to kill all the bad guys, bro. They're going to fucking murder all of them, dude. Bad motherfuckers, dude. Elephants that we would regardless. That's some Political hot shit. Opinions Look up that. Look up at all. Secret Service what we're cat team. we're focused on is training, preparing them to do the job that they're going to need to do, and that's all that counts for us. That's all that counts for us. Oh, no, no. We are the best. We are the nicest. Oh, that's it. All right. All right. There's a Marine Corps video. All right. Not bad. Hopefully, you guys learned some stuff. Um, like I said, I'm going to drop the career pass, you know, link in the uh, description to the video. Go check it out. Especially if you're in the fucking military, you're getting out, you don't know what to do. Just go fucking look. Please, for the love of God. You know? Don't just fucking wait and not have a plan, okay? Don't be a dirtbag. Um, if you guys like the video, like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Drop down in the comments other shit you want me to do. I'm going to try banging out. We're getting a lot of love with these reaction videos. So I'm going to try banging out, like, try to bang out a reaction video and have it up every, like, five days. That's kind of, like, the goal after this one. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for stopping by.